dear students and today we are going to discuss another applications of this uh, derivative which is in increasing and decreasing functions firstly what are increasing and decreasing functions let me consider an example f of x equals to x square now you know that its domain is r minus open interval minus infinity infinity and this function represents you know the parabola with graph as shown in this fig let x1 be any point on this domain that is x1 equals to this this is the point now corresponding point on this graph is this point suppose point a whose coordinates are x1 f of x1 that is corresponding value at x1 or the value of the function at x1 is f of x1 now when we move at from a towards right that is when we start moving towards right from this x1 that is in this this direction the value of f of x corresponding values of f of x start decreasing that is here if we consider here it is point x2 its value is f of x2 now this f of x1 is greater than f of x2 or x2 is less than x1 this means that when we start moving from x1 up to 0 the values of f start decreasing so this means that we can write this statement as x1 less than x2 because here x1 is less than x2 this implies that the value of the smaller the value of the function at the smaller point is greater than the value of the function at the larger point for all x1 x2s up to point 0 similarly when we consider another point suppose here we have a point which is x1 dash x1 dash so from this point x1 dash which is on the positive direction of x axis when we start moving from this positive in this point x1 dash towards right from this uh, x1 dash the value of f of x start, uh, start increasing that is if we consider two positive points or the points on this positive x axis with x1 less than x2 dash this implies that f of x1 dash is less than f of x2 dash that is when we start this means that at smaller point the value of the function is smaller while at the larger point the value of the function is larger this means that for all the points which are which belongs to interval minus infinity 0 x1 less than x2 implies that f of x1 greater than f of x2 similarly for all those points which belongs to interval 0 to infinity that is points on the positive x axis x1 dash less than x2 dash implies f of x1 dash less than f of x2 dash so this means that in this interval minus infinity 0 or if we consider you know the negative x is as a domain then the value of f start decreasing when we increase the domain values this function is simply called as the decreasing function because its value start decreasing when we increase the domain points or when we increase the domain values similarly in interval 0 infinity that is this portion of this graph f is increasing function means that uh, the value of f start increasing when we increase the corresponding values of domain like if we consider the graph of another another function like this so this means at this point f of x has highest value this but when we start uh, increasing the values in x f of x start decreasing because it moves towards x axis which implies that this function is decreasing function like this here this is increasing function but if we consider this sinusoidal wave it is neither decreasing nor increasing because if we consider this portion here it is increasing if we consider this portion it is decreasing uh, this increasing if we consider this portion it is 
a decreasing function so those functions which are ne uh, neither decreasing nor increasing looks like this very function so how to define this increasing and decreasing functions let i be an open interval contained in a domain of real valued function f so this means that i is the open interval or simply i is the domain of function then f is said to be first increasing on i that is we say that f is increasing on this interval i if x1 less than x2 if we consider any two points with this property that is one is less than second one which belongs to this very interval should imply that f of x1 should less or equals to f of x2 for all x1 x2 belongs to i then we say that f is increasing function now what is strictly increasing now here there is a possibility that at these two points which are less than which are you know uh, with the property that x1 less than x2 there is a possibility that the function at these points is the value of the function is same when the value of the function is same this we simply means that this is the increasing function but if we omit the possibility of equality that is when x1 less than x2 for all points in i implies f of x1 less than f of x2 there is strict inequality this means that we say that this function is strictly increasing on i similarly if we consider decreasing points for points on i that is x1 less than x2 in i implies that f of x1 greater or equal to f of x2 this means that there is the possibility that the function that that the at two different values the at two different point is the value of the function is same so this means that it is decreasing function no so strictly de decreasing when we uh, remove or when we omit and the possibility of this equality that is if x1 less than x2 in i implies f of x1 is strictly greater than f of x2 this means that there does not exist any two points where the value of the function is same in on i and f of x1 is greater than f of x2 for all x1 less than x2 then we said that this function is strictly de decreasing function so this was the def definition of increasing and decreasing functions on i but if we consider the point how to define increasing decreasing or strictly increasing strictly decreasing function at a point now if x1 x0 is the domain point then f is said to be increasing function at x0 that at this point f is said to be increasing function if there exists a neighborhood a neighborhood means an interval containing this very point an open interval containing the given point that interval is called as simply the neighborhood of this point that is here if we consider this interval x0 minus h and x0 plus h then this is open interval containing x0 because x0 is greater than x0 minus h and x0 is less than x0 plus h which implies that x0 belongs to this interval so this is a neighborhood such that for all x1 x2 belongs to this interval that is if we consider any two points in this interval with the property that x1 less than x2 this imp if it implies that f of x1 is less or equal to f of x2 then we say that the function is increasing at this point but if x1 less than x2 implies f of x1 greater or equal to f of x2 then we simply say that at this point the function is a decreasing function like if we consider an example f of x equals to 2x plus 1 we have to check whether it is uh, strictly increasing or decreasing let x1 x2 be only two points with x1 less than x2 so this means that here x1 is less than x2 now when we multiply this equation because in a given function we have two which is multiplied with x and we have another term one which is additive term of this so simply we have to multiply this equation on both sides that is 2x1 is less than 2x2 because x1 less than x2 implies 2x1 is less than 2x2 or when we can also add by 1 still it does not affect the inequality that is 2x1 plus 1 less than 2x2 plus 1 because only the under subtraction if we have the negative terms then inequality is affected 
on addition or on subtraction now here 2x1 plus 1 is the value of the function at x1 2x2 plus 1 is the value of the function at x2 which implies that f of x1 less than f of x2 for all x1 x2 belongs to r because x1 and x2 are the arbitrarily real numbers which implies that x1 less than x2 implies f of x1 less than f of x2 hence this function is strictly increasing function because by the definition of this strictly increasing function so there is a, a test through which we can you know show whether the function we can prove that whether this function is increasing and decreasing and in this test we use you know the concept of derivatives that is why increasing and decreasing function to check increasing and decreasing function it is an application of you know the derivatives this is summarized in a theorem whose statement is left f is let f is continuous function on closed interval a b differentiable on open interval a b then f is said to be increasing on a b this means that f is increasing on this interval a b if man derivative is positive for all x is belongs to a b is decreasing on interval a b if a derivative is negative on for all points on this interval a b and is constant if it is derivative is zero for all x belongs to a b now since f is continuous on closed interval f is differentiable on open interval because these two things are given so by condition of uh, so by the mean value theorem there exists a point c belongs to a b such that f dash of x f dash of c equals to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a this is me uh, the statement of mean value th theorem or simply by cross multiplication we can write b minus a f dash of c equals to f of b minus f of a now here this c if it exists it lies between a and b so between this a and c there is another real number because uh, between any two real numbers there like there is a real number and hence infinitely many real numbers so in place of a and b we can simply write you know any arbitrarily points that is x1 and x2 of this uh, uh, a b this means that there exists a point c belongs to this x1 and x2 such that x2 minus x1 f dash of c equals to f of x2 minus f of x1 now name it equation first now in first statement now proving first that is increasing on a b if f dash of uh, x is greater than 0 since f dash of x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to a b in particular f dash of c is greater than 0 because c belongs to this interval x1 and x2 which in particular which in particular belongs to interval a b so when we substitute in first this f dash of c is greater than 0 x2 is greater than x1 x2 is greater than x1 which implies that x2 minus x1 is positive f dash is positive product of two positives is positive which implies that f of x2 minus f of x1 is greater than 0 or f of x1 is less than f of x2 this means that when x1 less than x2 implies f of x1 less than f of x2 so by definition of uh, this increasing function f is increasing or strictly increasing on this interval a b similarly if f dash of c is negative because it is given that f dash of c or f dash of x is negative which in particular implies f dash of c is negative hence substituting in first we get f of x2 minus f of x1 less than 0 or f of x1 greater than f of x2 when x1 less than x2 so it is decreasing function similarly if f dash of c is 0 minus f dash of x is 0 implies that f dash of c is 0 which implies that f of x2 minus f of x1 equals to 0 this means that uh, for all points x1 less than x2 implies f of x1 equals to f of x2 which implies that for a different value a different value or a different points value of the function is same hence the function is constant like if we consider example 3x plus 17 we have to prove it is strictly increasing now by definition method let x1 x2 belongs to all with the property that x1 less than x2 
now by multiplying we get 3x1 less than 3x2 because 3 is positive so it does not affect you know the inequality or when we adding a 7 on both sides we get 3x1 plus 17 uh, less or equal to less uh, less than 3x2 plus 17 or this uh, 3x1 plus 17 is f of x1 3x2 plus 17 is f of x2 which implies that x1 less than x2 implies f of x1 less than f of x2 hence it is strictly increasing function so by another uh, this method that is by this theorem f of x is 3x plus 17 implies that f of x is 3 now this 3 is positive which implies that for all x belongs to our derivative is positive hence f by above theorem f is strictly increasing on r inshallah tomorrow we shall you know solo we will solo you know the exercise 10.2 this uh, ex second exercise of this chapter